What up again, tech fam? Welcome back to Gadget Tools Unlimited. Would you like to know what a system administrator is? What we do? How much we get paid? How you could possibly become one? You might want to check out this video. We're going to get into my current position, what a system administrator does, how much they get paid. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, stick around. We're going to get into it. All right, and we back. Once again, I'd like to thank you for sticking around, checking out the content coming out of Gadget Tools Unlimited. We're trying to grow the channel, so we would appreciate it if you would hit the like button so that these videos can get in front of others who may uh, find this information beneficial in their uh, tech career journey. If you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button. And if you wanna be one of the first people to see our content when it drops, go ahead and click that bell icon. So let's get right into this video. So what is a systems admin or sysadmin? This is the person that's responsible for all business related computer systems, maintenance, configuration, and installation, and also the underlying software and hardware that goes along with it. This person does basically everything. This is the jack of all trades of technology job. They have to know networking, they gotta know operating systems, they've gotta know server infrastructure, they've gotta know programs, they gotta know a little bit of everything. And this varies greatly over businesses, right? You could be a sysadmin at one location doing one thing and you can be a sysadmin at another business doing a totally different things. Some businesses, separate kind of silo out the responsibilities of their system administrators to specific areas and some have system admins that touch all of it you know it just depends on the company you're working for and how they do things and so there are system administrators over computers and servers there are network administrators there are database administrators there are security administrators web administrators and you can also specialize in a particular software like ServiceNow, PeopleSoft, Azure, or Salesforce. You can be just a Salesforce system administrator. You can be just an Azure system administrator. You could be just a database systems administrator. You can be a general system administrator over computer systems and servers. You can also specialize in particular software platforms as a system administrator and all you do is that thing like Salesforce or ServiceNow, all you do is administrate those programs. So what are some of the duties of a system administrator, systems administrator or sysadmin? Um, well, I think I already mentioned it could be quite a lot, right? So just to name a few, some of the things that um, system administrators can be responsible for is creating backups, uh, network monitoring, policy creation, security of the system, vendor contact, repair requests and installation of hardware, uh, system patching, uh, software updates, user account management, uh, automation, problem solving, and the list goes on and on and on. System administrators can be responsible for a litany of different things. So how much money can you expect to make being a system administrator? Well, according to um, sites like payscale.com, you can expect to receive between 40 and 80K as a salary for a system administrator. Now the median salary for a system administrator is about $63,000. This is gonna depend heavily on where you are. Location, 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 right? Big metropolitan areas with a lot of business activity are going to have more system administrator jobs available and this pay scale is probably going to be higher. Um, areas that is not heavily tech 
centric and that are smaller are going to be down toward the lower side of the pay scale and the jobs are not going to be as many. It's also going to depend on what level of system administrator you are. Are you a junior system administrator? You can expect to be on a lower end. Are you a senior system administrator? You can expect to be on a higher end. If you're a team lead, you're going to expect to have another bump. If you're a specialized system administrator for a platform like ServiceNow or PeopleSoft, you can expect to even more money, uh, you know, uh, upwards of 100 thousand six-figure salaries for system admin if you are an azure or aws system admin you can expect over a six-figure salary um, so it just depends on what level you are how many years of experience you got what the market is but the average is about sixty three thousand dollars which is pretty good money top five places to work as a system admin california texas florida New York, Virginia. And like I said, that's going to be big metropolitan areas, New York, Dallas, Houston, Seattle, stuff like that. Big cities, big metropolitan areas, them going to be your best bet um, to get the highest pay and uh, have the highest um, job availability. What's the best place to look to get started on a roadmap to becoming a system admin? In my opinion, that's going to be Microsoft. They have been in the game for a long time. They used to have the MCSA um, certification and that was like the industry standard certification to take if you wanted to be a system administrator. They've since moved over to more of a role-based approach to their certifications, but they still got plenty of certifications to get you started. Microsoft is definitely going to be the way to go. I recommend going the Microsoft route if you're going to be a system administrator. And then once you get that foundational uh, level of skill, then you can decide if you want to go into a specialty and then choose a specialty from there. The Microsoft fundamentals certifications are going to be where you need to start. Microsoft fundamentals certifications are the way to go. And you can look on Microsoft.com on their website. You can Google Microsoft certifications and you will find everything you need to know to start planning your roadmap. Um, if you would like to become a system administrator, what certifications to take, what information to study, what skills you might need uh, to build. So what is my position? Well, my current position is senior system administrator, team lead over the cloud collaboration group, okay? So uh, I work in the education industry. I'm a system administrator on the infrastructure team and my specific area is team lead for cloud collaboration uh, for my organization. And some of the duties I do, so I'm a system administrator over WebEx, Teams, cloud collaboration and video conferencing. My team takes care of all of the video and cloud collaboration and conferencing needs for um, our organization. I also have to touch Active Directory from time to time and I may have to install some application on a server or interact with a server to run some kind of test or implement a new feature of one of the platforms that we're using. We also use the ticketing system ServiceNow ITSM. So um, my team has responsibility for tickets that are routed to us that have to do with the technology or the platforms that we are admins over. So we take care of those and we interface with third party suppliers for our streaming needs and we make sure that all of the events are allocated with streaming if necessary, closed captioning if necessary, and are connected with the on-premise video production teams when there are large events or town halls that we need to support. So the idea was to make this a uh, you know, short and quick video, so we ain't gonna go too long. We're gonna bring this one to a wrap. Um, if there are any questions that may have been generated by the discussion that we've had in this video, please put them in the comments section and uh, I will respond uh, with whatever information that I can bring to bear uh, to answer those questions. Uh, once again, before you go, if you haven't already, smash that like button. 
comment, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon and share these videos with people who uh, may, be, uh, may be able to gain some value from these topics and these conversations. Um, you know, a lot of times we, we may be on a journey of our own, but we may also know people who are uh, doing the same thing that can benefit from some of the knowledge that we ourselves pick up uh, as we go through our journey. So please share these videos out to anyone you know that might be benefit that might benefit from uh, some of the content uh, that we've been discussing. And with that, I will let y'all go. And uh, I appreciate y'all stopping through Gadget Tools Unlimited once again. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.